Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. We're mm -hmm. gonna we're gonna talk about how you can get kicked out of Disney World forever. If you, or Disneyland. Or Disneyland if you abuse the uh, disability pass that they have. Um, people have been lying about disabilities for years at Disney to get access to a special card. It used to be what? The, the GAC? The guest, it was the GAC Pass. The GAC is. Pass. And then they turned it into the DAS Pass. GAC Pass always just sounded like someone throwing up. Um, but... You know, basically, you get special privileges if you are legitimately disabled, according to a doctor, or to get a doctor's note or whatever. Well, I don't think you had to have a doctor's note, but like, yeah, you 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 were able to get this pass if you can't stand in line for a long period of time. Now, there are differences between the DAS pass and the GAC pass. The problem with the old program was the fact that I mean, the program before the one they're changing it, yeah. it was a GAC pass. Was the fact that um, you could just ride as many times as you want and got frontline access. Yeah. So that we're gonna talk about that later. Yes. That led to issues. So they brought the DAS pass. So DAS pass, you have to wait in line. You, basically, the ride has a two-hour wait time for standby. You'll get a return time for two hours. So you still have to wait like the same amount of time as everybody else. That you don't have to stand in line. Um, and people were abusing that too because they didn't want to stand in line. They could go ride other rides. And now we're in this position where Disney said that too many people were ride, too many people were claiming they had issues that couldn't ride or couldn't stand in line. And it led to a lot of problems, a lot of issues with bottlenecking, and it was over used and abused. So now they're changing it. It's going to change on May 20th at Walt Disney World and uh, June 18th at Disneyland. Um, but they're going to they're going to boot you from the park if you lie. Yeah. So let's let's talk about this because this has been this has been an ongoing issue with Disney Parks fans for years. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a lot of people that uh, love the special access, but unfortunately, we had a lot of people abusing the special access, and uh, it got to a point where you know Disney kind of put their their big yellow foot down. Uh, shoe. There were lawsuits. There were lawsuits, and uh, yeah. So now, if if you are caught abusing the system, you will be thrown out of the park forever. So let's talk yeah. about this before you get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you do. Woo so let's um let's let's cut to the chase here. This is the article, and then we'll talk about kind of the history of it. Disney says it will now issue a lifetime ban to guests who lie about having disabilities okay. at its theme park. So let me explain what they're going to do first. So with this new program, what you will do if you go out to the website, it explains it. The new program. So you will be pre-registered. If you scroll down a little bit here. It tells you here. See, step one. Register. Registration is available via live video chat. Click on the read more. Okay, so this explains what you'll do. You will speak to a cast member in a live video chat to determine your eligibility <laughs> as early as 30 days advance to the theme park. Some people like this because they said that it, it's really nice because they don't have to, like, mess around. They already have it pre-approved, okay? Um, it's only in English or whatever. So then they're going to have medical people who are also going to be available who are going to look at this and decide if you qualify. All right? Uh-huh. Okay, so this so, is like this is like WebMD or something. Like hi, well, gonna, I yeah. forget the name of the group. I don't have, it's on yeah. my article about how in front of me. But they will they will give those who they think definitely need it the, the pre-register and give them um, authorization. All right? Now, unlike... Other times in the past where people were taking large groups, you were allowed to have four people in your party, including the person with a DAS pass. So only four people can be in your group. Now, I think before it was 30 days your pass was good for. Now it's 120 days, and then you'll have to go through the process again. I think this is if people have annual passes or live locally and things like that, or they might visit multiple times a year. So that's that's that. So then when you when you get your pass and you get your, your, your pre-registration out of the way, when you come to the park, then you'll start using it. You'll request the return time for your, your first attraction. Your return time is good throughout the day or the time that the attraction is open. Um, so it's, that's how they're doing it now. The issue is that people are not sure what qualifies as a, a disability. <laughs> if you go to the top of the page, sorry to keep yeah. making, you can tell I'm familiar. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. It says that they're offering it to people, it's one of the programs offered. They're, they're trying to be inclusive, they're trying to be, um, because there's laws about you have to be, you know, people with disability, you have to be accessible, okay? So they're saying they're, they're due to a, dis a developmental disability like autism or something similar who are unable to wait in a conventional <laughs> queue for extended period of time. I'm just sitting there thinking like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. If you get thrown out of Disney for faking autism, they should do the same thing on Twitter. <laughs> 
I know, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, like everybody thinks they're on the spectrum on Twitter and um, that's their excuse for whatever. People are upset because they feel like, well, some people have back issues or reasons like they legitimately can't stand in line. Yeah. And I don't think necessarily those are not being accepted, but they aren't like they are not being very transparent about what they're considering as a disability that will get you a DAS pass. My best, my best recommendation is to call them and ask them or to go through the registration process and find out because some people might legitimately not be able to stand in line for other reasons yeah. that aren't, you know, like autism. So I'm just saying. Yeah, this is this is complicated. We'll, we'll get into the history of this more. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're fake it, if you get caught faking a disability, if you Lifetime get ban. You, you if lie. you get caught faking autism at Disney World, you're done, man. You're done. Uh, the policy comes as Disney confronts a rise in the number of guests exploiting the system. This has no been going shit. on for years. Yes, they've tried to get around years. it several times. Um, they said there was an increase in people taking advantage of its disability mm -hmm. policies to skip lines, avoid crowds. Yeah. In fact, it was so bad that about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Gosh, I remember when this all went down. 11 years ago. It was all went down. I remember we've been doing this a long time. Uh, there, there was a, a controversy because rich New Yorkers were hiring disabled people to be tour, quote unquote, tour guides to use their disability pass as a, a get on the ride as many times as you want to. So it wasn't, it was like one disabled person with the pass and like freaking 10 or 12 people from New York. And then they put the kibosh on that. They said, no, you can't, you can't do they that. Were literally. I mean, the one hand there, there was given work to people with disabilities, but um, <laughs> they were literally, these rich people were passing around phone numbers of who you could hire with disabilities to get, to get front of the line access yes! because they had, a, they had a GAC pass. Yes. It was GAC pass. And they were paying them to do it. And you could have a lot more than four people at the time. So it was a big issue. It came to light in this article that came out. Yeah. And they said the Disney tour guides, um, they're $130 an hour. Okay. That's the black. That's the ones you're no, paying. No, these are the, these. Oh, okay. So the, what happened was, and they ramped up their own VIP tours mm -hmm. because of this, which basically do the same thing. But yeah, they have black market Disney guides. They're charging $130 an hour but these rich New Yorkers are paying it. And so then honestly, you know, I want, I want to say, well, Disney thought that this was, you know, uh, you know, using people and this was wrong and da, da. no, I'm telling you what happened. Disney took a look at that money and they're like, damn, if these New Yorkers will pay them $130 an hour, we got tour guides here. Well, you can said, hire. They said Disney VIP tour guides at the time yeah. were 310 to 380 hour. Oh, it's way more than that now. Way more than that now. Um, so it was a bargain. It was like, you know, a, a third of the cost to pay the disabled person to take you around the Disney parks. So that ended up being a big issue. And then the GAC pass was gone pretty quickly after that. And they initiated the DAS pass where you still have to wait. So to try to avoid people using it for front line access, the DAS pass has always been one that you, if there's a two hour standby line, you wait two hours in return, but you don't have to yeah. wait in line. Yeah. People use that time to go sit or to go eat or to go find other attractions with shorter lines that suddenly they can wait for and then wait in those lines and then go back to the big rides when their time's up. Now, because you have to wait in standby lines, you might only get to use like use it for like two or three attractions. You're not going to get to use it like over and over again, because I can tell you for a fact with the GAC pass, I've seen it. People would get the GAC pass. Like at the time, Toy Story Midway Mania or some of those other rides were really, 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 really popular. Yep. Like I know that one, Test Track, Soarin', those kind of things. We were there and we would watch people get off and get back in line and ride it again and again. And people were still in line waiting to go once. And there's kids waiting to go once. And they were getting hold, held up because people were taking the, the, the front of line access. Yep. And it wasn't limited to how many times you could do it. And they would just do it again and again yep. and again and again. And it wasn't fair to like other kids that were waiting a turn or people that were waiting a turn. So um, now you have to wait the time of the standby line before you're less. You can't just do it over and over and over This again. is crazy that I'm reading this article and I thought this was a parody. This is actually written on May 14th of 2013. Uh, this, this woman from Manhattan said, you can't go to Disney without a tour concierge. She sniffed. This is how the 1% does Disney. And this person here said, it, it was insider knowledge that very few have and share carefully. Right. Um, I remember this article. I remember when this whole thing came out. Yeah, this doctor caught wind of the underground network while doing research for her upcoming book, Primates of Park Avenue. But the, the 
Oh okay, wait, wait, the, the one percent do Disney? What? The one, you're, you're not rich enough to hire the actual VIP tour guys? Yeah, because they're like three hundred, four hundred dollars. That now, was right? then. It's more. I think it's more than that. Oh now. my god. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So disability services have become the most requested service in Florida and California, according to the Washington Post. And it's for like do like look. I mean. The problem is what constitutes being disabled because, you know, oh, Timmy doesn't want to wait his turn is not the same as Timmy legitimately has a disability, you know, mm-hmm. and parents are just using it as like, well, he's a little impatient. Well, they don't say that. They'll say that there's something wrong. But yeah, they said it's gone up five times. The, the demand has gone up five times in, in the last like three years. I'm like, yeah, I believe it. And it's being abused so bad that now they're having to go to this route, which in some ways people that, you know, are saying that's a better way to go because you get pre-approved. But a lot of people are also upset because they're like, now I don't know if I'll get approved and I legitimately can't stand. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what's going to happen. Yep. If you, if you take advantage, if you take advantage of it, you're going to get you kicked out of Disney. The, the cast members and the pre-registration people. Yeah, and you get caught. You're, People you're, are you're still going to abuse it, though. They said the service is intended to accommodate a small percentage of guests who, due to a developmental disability like autism or similar, are they, unable. That's very nebulous. Yeah, are unable to wait in a conventional queue for an extended period of time. I have I have a raging case of assholeitis, and <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to wait in line, Disney. I don't want to wait in line. I'm going to tweet angry things That's at you. Fun. All you have to do is just, just skip lines. Say your party's at the front of the line. You're catching up. Oh, my God. Are they going to fix? Okay. So that is the, that is the biggest, uh, aside from this, the other abuse, and we've seen this so many times, is my party's at the front. Like, I use a bathroom. Oh, my party's at the front well, of the line. I'm just catching up. Actually, they said along with the changes, one of the things they're looking into is they're going to have a return to queue for restroom yeah. issues because some people legitimately have you know disabilities that require them to use the bathroom. Okay, it, it, it happens. It's a very real thing. So they might offer, like they're going to try to work with, if you have an issue, you might not get the DAS, but they're going to try to work with you with other programs to try to help you. And the return to queue if you have to use the restroom because an emergency is one of those things. Yeah. I personally believe they should give that option on your, your My Disney Experience app to everyone. And that way um, we could avoid a lot of fist fights. Yep. And line jumping. But that's just me. Oh, this is crazy. So now I missed this back in. No, no- I knew about this. Okay, so back in November, they started cracking down on third-party tour guides. Yes, I've known about. I knew all about this actually. And, and they were actually handing them trespass yes. notices to police because they were taking money police. to be a tour guide at the parks. Yes, it's uh, they were conducting unauthorized commercial activities. Yes, this is kind of along the same lines of the people that were like selling the bootleg mouse ears and stuff like that yes. and doing their own little groups. Several guides told the insider they've been operating for years, some for decades without issue. Um, blame bad actors and honestly blame Disney's greed. Like they're yeah. not going to let you do that when they can be making that money. They want people to pay them for their tour guides at $400, $500 an hour or whatever it is. So this is crazy guys. So yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, don't, the that they didn't even give like, they didn't even give warning to, they didn't even give them like a cease no. and desist. Like, Hey, stop this. They just banned them. Yeah. You'll just get thrown out of Disney. So there you go, guys. Uh, but apparently you can have a fight and just get a slap on the wrist. You know, you're not, you're not kicked out forever. Depends. Sometimes you are. Uh, we are wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.